Hi, my name is Dave Watson. I am the Director of Engineering and QA for AlphaWire. And uh, today, what we wanted to talk about for just a few minutes is how to properly inspect our fit heat shrink tubing. This is an area where uh, we get a lot of phone calls and emails, and uh, sometimes there's some confusion on the proper way to do it. So uh, today, I just wanted to briefly demonstrate the uh, proper way. This is a piece of uh, one inch heat shrinkable tubing. This is our FIT 2 to 1 product. So it uh, reduces to a ratio of 2 to 1. So when fully uh, recovered, it will be uh, less than one half inch in diameter. And I guess that's the, the first question we get really comes into the dimensioning because the, the specifications are what we call single lended. The ID is a minimum supplied ID. Basically what that means is um, it, should, it's, it has to be no smaller than uh, the certain value that we specify because that's because we know that the end user is trying to slide it over something. So if it's too small as, as it's supplied, then it won't fit over whatever they're uh, applying it over. Uh, then we talk about the recovered ID. When, it, when the tubing is fully shrunk, we call it recovered, and we certainly want it to recover at least to the point that we specify, so that is a maximum dimension. There's no plus or minus, it's a min as supplied and a max as recovered. The, the mistake that people tend to want to make, and, and not all tubing um, comes out this flat. This is, uh, as I said, a one inch tubing, and just by the nature of the process, it kind of flattens out when we put it on the spool. Uh, the smaller sizes tend to be much more round, but, but either way, what people tend to want to do is to take um, calipers and kind of try to get it as round as possible, and then yeah, come up with a dimension and, and it, 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 it expands and you can't do it. Or another thing that uh, people try to do sometimes is to, um, is to well, it's, if it's flat, I might as well make it all the way flat and get a, get, get a, a reading and then, okay, the circumference of a circle is and, and try to work it out that way. That technique does not work either. The, the only acceptable way to, to measure the uh, diameter of these tubings is with uh, gauge pins. This is a one inch gauge pin. And our spec on this is a one inch supplied ID minimum. So simply, the pin easily slides in the product, so this passes the requirement of having a minimum supplied diameter of 1.00 inches. Now, the next part is uh, the recovered diameter. So here I have a heat shrink gun. I am going to fully shrink one end of this. And when you're shrinking heat shrink product, what is key is, is to keep varying the, the, uh, where the heat's going so it, it shrinks uniformly. Now as it starts to shrink, I'm gonna walk the heat gun toward the end of the tubing. So I just continue to walk it toward the end and eventually it's gonna to start to get nice and round for me. Okay. One of the things we wanna do is make sure that it's fully recovered Obviously, if it's not fully recovered, it won't be down to the, uh, the proper size. So that looks pretty fully recovered. The next thing I'm going to do is be patient. Because one thing about heat shrinkable tubing, uh, these polyolefin materials retain a great deal of heat. So right now, it's pretty doggone hot. And uh, out of concern for my fingers, I want to make sure that it cools off pretty well. And you notice that uh, if you're new to heat shrinkable tubing that even though this has a, a pretty uh, significant crease in it, when you look at the fully recovered tubing, that all goes away. So th this isn't any sort of quality concern. That's just the nature of the process. And yet when you're done, you get a nice round uniform uh, finish and, and there's no evidence of that crease. So here we have a one half inch gauge block, 0 0.500 inches. These are calibrated and traceable. And you can see it, it will not fit in. 
if we ha if we had a, an infinite variety of, of these uh, gauge pins, um, you know, every mil or whatever, we, we could see you know what the actual diameter is. But that's really not important because the spec is 0.5 inches recovered ID maximum, and since it's since this half inch pin won't fit, we know that it's shrunk beyond the half inch, so it's in spec. So uh, briefly, that was how to uh, do the, a receiving inspection on fit heat shrinkable tubing. And as always, I thank you for your attention. And should you have any questions, please send them to info at alphawire.com. Thank you.